Everybody, and now I'm suddenly very dark. Hold on. I did a test and it was light and it was fine. So I turned down my fucking thing and now it it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. But hello everybody, hello, hello, and welcome back to Crimson Blaze Assassin's Creed. Why? Oh, there it is. Uh, I hope you all have been ha have had a good exposure as finicky. Yeah. Yeah, um Also, I think that sometimes OBS changes its settings uh just to spite me. No. Uh <laughs> No, if anything it's my camera being fi uh, my camera changing its settings just to spite me. But anyway, hello, hello, hello. I hope you all have had a wonderful uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Weekend! I hope you all have had a wonderful weekend. 
uh, and are and have dived into your week excitedly. Um, today, I'm hoping to finish off the final six percent <laughs> of Assassin's Creed Four. Uh, before we get started, though, Link Tree slash Crimson Knight. Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight. That is slash K R I M Z O N K N I G H T. Do the things, please. Not necessary. Just nice. Not necessary. Just nice. And let's get started. Uh, button. That's what I'm looking for. All right. <laughs> By the way, Yvonne, how am I sounding with these new uh, <coughs> audio settings that we messed with and created over the weekend? That sound good? Good. That's good. Uh, all right. Uh, excuse me. All right. Just for the sake of posterity, 100% on the side missions, 100% on the collectibles, 100% on the side activities. All that's left is main goddamn storyline. And for the sake of it, I did, yes, go back through and complete all of the 100% on the things that I didn't get 100% before. So now... Shall we? I think we shall. I'm excited. Bam, ba -da -da -dum, ba -da -dum. Where am I going? Here. Bum ba dum ba ba da da. There. Eat of faith into the hay bale. Oh wait, hold on. Game is stuttering a little bit, and I just remembered that there is a thing that I forgot to do. That. And that. Also, while I'm here. Okay, good. Alright, that should help. That should prevent. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Much better. Alright, we're going up, I believe. Hey, lady. Assuming this is the friendliest face you've seen since dropping anchor? Is Havana under curfew on my account? Mm, aye. Torres seems to think someone's coming after him. I'm about to He's finish the excuse I had to cosplay a pirate every I Monday, but did not actually do. I mean... Through the blood of the governor, we can see through his eyes. That's... that's by the church? Keep this safe. I feel great. Just in case. I'll be I feel you. great. And you know, when Ubisoft releases their game Skull and Bones, more pirate stuff. So. Bum, ba -da, da, ba -da, da. All right, so what am I? I don't have a bonus back, a bonus mission at this point. Oh, 
No te alteres, amigo. Esto no es una reunión de sociedad. Seguidnos. I'm just going to live in this bush for now. El tiburón. In the butt. Just lay down and take a nap, man. You're fine. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. I live up here on the roofs. Ha ha ha, you numb nuts. I'm not in that. Don't fall off. Oh, that was close. Sleep. gonna shoot you in the balls it's fine uh, Kenway good old Kenway good old Kenway Stay out of combat. Pretty sure I can do that. I just need to be a little careful. Just a little careful. Up, 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 up. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Got a guy below me. Guy over there, guy there. Uh, some guys in the courtyard. Okay. Kill Loreno Torres down there. Let's skish this guy. Pop 
him. Pop him. Now, does it give me any other instructions? Just stay out of combat. Kish. You're done, Torres. Christ. <laughs> this again, eh? <laughs> Have to use guards as human shields. Like Come on, give me the prompt. Well, well, they're dead. More guards incoming? Please? Yay, another guard. There we go. There we go. If you could speak, mate, it would gladden me to hear your side. You humbled me once, and I took that hard lesson, and I bettered myself. Die knowing that for all of our conflict, you helped make a soldier out of a scoundrel. Aww. Leave this life for a lasting peace. Down among the dead. He's grown so much since the beginning of the game. Am I out of the area? Yeah, looks like it. So.
Okay, apparently I'm not, because it would have ended by now. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Oh. And the game just crashed. Un momento, por favor. Well. Hold on, is my stream down? No. The game was too exciting. <laughs> it was too exciting. Uh, no, I think I know. I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. The problem is that I had it running uh, without having the. Yeah, I had it running for so long. Uh, before I had actually implemented, uh, activated a thing that prevent that caused the reason it was stuttering. I'd had it running for so long before I changed that setting. Blah, 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 blah. Fine. Should be fine. My phone is having a really hard time with my stream right now. Off the wall, Kenway. Kenway. My dude. Kenway. Ken Kenway. Climb, climb the wall, Kenway! Pet the kitty. Holy shit, it's raining up a storm in here. I dreamed a dream the other night. Lowlands, fuck. Lowlands way, child. Now, where is the? There is the. Yvonne, are you having any stream issues? Like, basically, I'm just wondering if this is my phone or if this is my stream as a whole. Stream is fine. Okay, so it must just be my phone having a struggle. Let's restock, restock, restock. Oh, am I already good on ammo? Okay. All right, cool, cool. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. De nada. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Nada. I dreamed a dream the other night. Lowlands, lowlands away, child. We got word Taurus left the city. Who were you chasing? That vial was labeled Taurus, but held the blood of his second. Where's he gone? 
Left port this morning, heading west along the coast. The observatory. Will we follow? Send word to Atabai. We've cornered our man. Oh, I'll let him talk. When your hoes the treasure yourself, Torres doesn't know I had it. So why bring it to him and risk its capture? I'd like him to know I had it just before he dies. I'd like him to know I have it just before he dies. No, not that one. Oh, I'm sailing back to Havana. Shit. <laughs> that wasn't the intention. Uh, objective is down here. Right. There's a fleet blocking the city we want. Aye, the Armada. That's Torres and his men. And you're going to do what exactly? Find our way past them. <laughs> There's an armada blocking them. What are you blocking our destination? What are you gonna do? You know, find our way past them. It's fine. Rio Grande way. Grabbing speed. You know what? Let's do some battle. I could have just slipped by them and gone started the thing, but nah. Let's fight some shit! With my overpowered shit. Get fucked! So, Yvonne, what do you think? Should I lead a boarding party? Should I shoot them into the drink? Or should I ram them into the drink? What do you think? Or should I just leave them be? You'd rather not, you'd rather me not board them? No boarding party, just wreck their shit? I, you guess, I, you guess, okay. I mean, I'm fine with whatever you'd rather I do. <coughs> One last boarding mission. <laughs> Rob them blind. On it. I captain Robin Blind. Bada bum bum bada bum bum bada bum bum bada bum. Oh fuck. Sails are in the way. God damn it. Too far away to shoot him. How about now? There we go. You. I'm going the long way. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> Smooth. Kenway. Come on. I'm fucked. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly according to plan. That was purely intentional. <clears throat> <clears throat> Showboating! <laughs> All right. That was a thing. Yes, it was. Indubitably. All right. So they sank the other ship for me. All right, we'll try this again. me coming through just gonna all right and then pop up here and we're just gonna pop you and then Instead of going up, up, we're going to come around here, gently come up here, grab that, my pistols all right all we need is one pistol run pistol shot there we go we go and I'm going to repair Oh, as I was going to die. As much stain as you can. I'm not 
And here we go, y'all. Who's this Taurus? I and what's your mind on to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence he'd cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like, if there was a drought and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water but gave a sip to none, he'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. Yeah, no one's safe on the water. I really love Anne Bonnie. So oh, well, I. Well, <laughs> She straight up says, are you going to go ashore or do I have to swim you there myself? <laughs> I love her so much. Oh, she's coming with me. I forgot that. Dude, she's really coming with me. Okay. I forgot. I forgot she comes with me. Soldiers just there. What should we do? Oh, Jay, look at all this. Corpses for miles. They brought every ounce of menace they had. Every ounce of menace they had. Well, someone just got ate by a croc. Or alligator or whatever. with me well apparently she stayed behind <sighs> they burned the village King Templars. Anybody else to free? No? Okay.
I'm gonna loot the ammo here though. Maybe I'll yeah, okay. I thought they had some sleep darts or something. Oh, well. And? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Poof! There she is! And one more for good measure. Alright. Back up top. Nope. Off that wall. Here we go. Oh god. Kenway, what the fuck was that? Not the button I pushed. Shush. Two, three, three, four, five, six, three. Yeah, I'll let them handle it. <laughs> Seven remaining guardians uh, accounted for. Now for the observatory itself. What is this? Later, Ant. I'll tell you all when this is finished. We've come to see. Hi. Yep. The observatory. Stand watch here and let none follow. Fitchner that doesn't fight sight. Good lass. Well, he was just turned to mist. Ouch, and I was almost turned to mist.
Good jump, Edward. That's not what? Actually, that would do it. Hold on. Oh, nope, it won't let me. Okay, fine. I mean, that's one way. Shit. Okay. Yeah, try not to die, huh? Use observatory's defenses to kill guards. Alright. Come here. Come on, fuckers. Let's go. One. To be clear, yes. This is some Lara Croft shit, huh? <clears throat> Come on. There you go. Get out of my head, Yvonne. <laughs> she would be an assassin, though. Like, she would be. She'd be someone whose family was Templar who then turned assassin, you know? That's what her story would fucking be. I could just shoot him, I guess. Nah, that's not as fun. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason 
and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenware's folly! Oh, our day's there. It's a tequila. Quiet now, go back to sleep. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were files when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. The letter he asked to be sent. A reply has come. Yeah, this is the modern day sage. Uh oh. Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! Just got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Claire! Claire! Check his vitals! He's bleeding fast! Check the victim! Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me! You alright? There you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Good. Try walking around. I'm missing... I'm still missing a few notes, but I'll pick those up. Quickly. A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. Well, that's good. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. Whatever you need, we'll provide. 
animal Done porn. An amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. What? I don't there get. I don't get any hazard I pay. <laughs> you can watch it here or at your animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. In a world where pirates world. rule the waves, these men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed to rum, plunder, and women. How they pervert. Ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated. Yeah. So interesting tidbit. The video footage of that trailer was actually a trailer for this game. Of course, it had different audio to it, but they used an actual trailer for the game as a trailer within the thing for the fictional version of the game. It's meta as fuck, and I love it. All right, so before I return to my animus, just to make this, uh... A little quick. Uh, AC4 sticky notes. All right. Um, we have a little, we have a few last minute uh, things to do. We've got some hacking to do here. We've got the server over here. Um, John! Ah, <clears throat> sorry about this. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, back there is Rebecca, my partner uh, in crime. Hello. Bloody good work earlier. Honestly, I mean it. Delivering us all that data. It's really just too bad that our man on the inside was such a um, <laughs> uh, how 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 to put it? Fanatic. Fanatic is the best word, I suppose. We take who we can get. Exactly. Exactly. Well. I mean, fair. We saw in John an opportunity to burrow deeper into Sturgo's cloud servers, and I'm not ashamed to say we took it. Hold on just a second. That's not what I wanted. Realizing, of course, that the... This is what I wanted. I want this. All right, so I have some messages. Some, so from some coworkers asking what's going on and where I'm at. Melanie saying to ha hang in there. Uh. Somebody saying they quit. <laughs> uh, security teams, etc. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's not. Oh, there's still one that I'm missing. John leaving. Uh, I filed. So I'm looking for notes. All right. I am missing. I have one, two. I'm missing note three, four, five, six. Hey, <laughs> they should quit, right? Uh, Yvonne, can you do me a quick favor? I'm gonna go through which notes, I'm, which note numbers I'm missing. Could you make a list and put them in the chat, please? And thank you. Um, we're missing note three. Nine, ten. Okay, hold on. We have one, two. We're missing three. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're missing fifteen. So three fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So we're missing three fifteen and twenty. If you could please write those down and put that in the chat for me, that would be great. Enlisting you to Thank you. I'm to blame. Should anything go wrong? <laughs> but it all worked out very nicely in the end. Most of it, anyway. Which John really wants to say is, if you're up for more hacking, we are too. 
John gave you level 3 security clearance before you died. You should use it. The assassins don't have the resources to pay you like the Templars do, but we'll make it worth your while. Ah, look, we should really cut it short, Max. 20 seconds. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. A top-notch work. Really top. Give yourself a pat on the back. And? Happy hacking. All right. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so I need to be coming at it from vertically, I believe. I didn't want to do that. Uh, that's what I want to land into. Straight across. Yeah, so I need to go out of that vertically. So I need to come up to this vertically, which means from there. Yeah, so there. Huh. Oh, shit. Lost my spot. Wait. There we go. It was an accident. I got there, but it was an accident. We'll take it. Another audio file. Target initiative, test session 32. January 11th, 1981. Host, Eileen Bach. DNA sample, SB1970. Miriam? Miriam, is that you? Are you in here? Barton! Oh, thank God you're safe. You've been worried sick. Barton! How did they find you? Oh, Jesus. What would they do to you? Has they hurt you at all? I told them nothing. All they do every day is ask about you and that artifact. But I didn't tell them anything. Nothing. I know you didn't, Miriam. But how are you? You, you aren't hurt. Not badly, no. I'm fine. Good. We need to get the message out to Oscar. Somehow. Oscar? Oscar? We need to tell him where... Very interesting footage, Eileen. This is Germany, you said, World War II? Most of the memories I've been able to access come from a period where Miriam was imprisoned by Nazis in Cologne. Miriam. Is she still alive? No, she was my husband's mo My ex-husband's mother. She passed away about five years ago. Well, she was spirited. An impressive lady. Definitely. And the man, Bartle. He made reference to an artifact. Any idea what that is? My team is looking into that. But it's not our first priority. We still need... It is now. Really? You must have other recordings of this woman. Are there any other mentions of this artifact I should know about? Half a dozen or so, yes. What's this about? You have questions. I understand that. I don't have answers for you. Not right now. But I do have money. And if you get me those recordings and bring me any other artifact references you find, then I will triple your operating budget for as long as I can. Triple my budget? My God, Damn. what is this? 9 a.m. Monday morning, my office. We have a lot to discuss. But Lillian, I don't... Have a good weekend, Mrs. Bach. Fantastic work. Templars. Hello. They are the definition Hi. of hella sus. Hey, how are you? Good. <clears throat> Busy. Cold. The winter's been terrible. Uh, Well, he's only coming for a month. He'll live, and I'll be so busy he won't have to worry about his mother bothering him. Ah, uh, still working 12-hour days. I should move a bed into my lab. Look, if you're too busy, Seamus can stay with me. 
No, no, I want to see him. We'll have fun. You're not too busy to be a mom and a genius. Of course not. His flight lands at 8.15 p.m. tomorrow night. You'll be there? Of course, 8.15. P.m. Let him know you'll be there. Thanks, Carl. I need to run. I'm sorry. Take care. You too. Ah, Eileen. Didn't see you come in. I'm not interrupting. No, it's fine. The subject is unconscious. He's traipsing around 18th century New Orleans right now. In the memories of a woman. That must feel odd. How long has he been under? 83 minutes. Whoa. It's average. What can I do for you? I just wanted to... to thank you for sending Lillian to see me. She came away very impressed. There. You see? All these bureaucrats need is a little glimpse of our secrets every so often. They like to feel like they're... still in charge. Lillian is most definitely in charge. She just tripled my budget. Tripled? Christ, Eileen. You must have discovered who killed Kennedy. <laughs> well, she heard something on one of my tapes that interested her. Something about an artifact. Very vague, but it was enough. An artifact? What sort of artifact? Jesus, get him out of there! Get him out! He's not the couple. He's having a fucking seizure. Power down now. Heart rate 170. Power down now. Eileen, Warren here. I was all ready to apologize Warren for the late call, but you seem to be away. Maybe with your son. Uh, listen, since the unfortunate incident with Subject One, there's been a lot of dire talk around the office about my Animus project, about shutting it down, about it being unsafe. Typical top brass bullshit. And if they shut me down, then your surrogate initiative goes away too. I'm sure you're already well aware of that. Well, let me be the first to reassure you. This will not happen. I will not let them take this from me. From us. I will not let one death of an undiagnosed epileptic, I should add. I will not let this destroy the decades of incredible research done by our predecessors. Yeah, I cut that off a bit early because it's taking a bit long. But basically, that's the story of... That's part of the story of Subject Zero. Um... But, yeah, it's uh, Warren Vidic when he was younger. Warren Vidic being, of course, the guy who kidnapped, who was in charge of Desmond Miles' kidnapping and stuff like that. Uh, they have a whole series of Subject Zero files. We could listen to them, uh, but honestly... Uh, if you want to know the lore, you should get the game and play it yourself. You know? All right, so in here come on mark it or, or not mark it there we go or you could just ask me about it and i could tell you about them basically um okay there's one of these it is sticky note three Time to hack a server, a server, a server. Time to hack a server. Yep, yep, yee.
failure. Oh, nope. Okay. Damn it. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, too soon. I got too eager. Our initial research into the life of Ratana Gaiden focused on a period oh, God. of late teens. <laughs> they just early butchered his but name. Our researchers came away unimpressed by his calm and stoic demeanor, with occasional flashes of extreme anger. This was not the sort of leading man we felt comfortable endorsing. We decided, therefore, to delve into his early childhood, with the hope that scenes of pre-colonial America might hold some appeal. As you can see here, there is a certain Raton. naive charm oh. and innocence to this young boy. Raton. Unfortunately, our researchers found this young man's story deeply problematic as well. For one, the omnipresence of the Mohawk culture lacks the balance necessary to tell the true story of America. And secondly, the Mohawk language would certainly be an issue for most of our audience. We therefore feel that although Ratana Tankon's early life would be of some interest to our more educated viewers, it's unlikely that his story would appeal on a broader scale being too foreign, as it were, to normal audiences. Our team recommends we pass on this property. What's interesting is that that is the large, like that, that was the, th those were all the big complaints of a lot of the, uh, a lot of the reasons why the uh, fandom disliked Connor He's a flat character who only gets angry sometimes and things like that. And he can't identify with the Native American culture. Things like that. Like, how dare you step outside yourselves for a bit? Yeah, they did that intentionally uh, with that because that was very much aimed at the fucking... Uh, fandoms say who have who bitched about Connor being Native American. Yeah, exactly. Do 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 do. I am a sneaking man. I am a sneaking man. I'm a very sneaky, 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 sneaky man. Yeah. You have to find the right fans. Um, and the AC Sisterhood is very much, by and large, the correct fans. You know? Hashtag AC Sisterhood. Okay, I should actually focus so that we're not here for an hour with me fucking hacking this thing. Oh, damn it. That was poorly timed. Damn it. Ah, my timing is just off. There. Ah, damn it. I hesitated.
There we go. <laughs> but yeah, as with Our any reports gave us hope that Enzio Auditori would serve Enzio. as a candidate Enzio. for Sturgo projects. His charisma, sexual magnetism, and wry humor gave him all the qualities of a leading man. However, his corruption by the assassin uh. order robbed him of these qualities as he fell deeper and deeper into a spiral of revenge. Enzio was frequently known to articulate a passive acceptance of evil. He was also a man of ugly contradictions, one who preached free thought, yet traveled well beyond his home country to proselytize his corrupted creed, just as he's doing here with this impressionable Chinese girl. Notice, too, that in his gestures and bearing, there is still something of the old lecher in him. Enzio's entire <laughs> personality is built around pure demagoguery, claiming his philosophy is about love when violence and coercion are his primary means of tackling problems. We have therefore come to the conclusion that Enzio Auditori da Firenze would be a risky character to develop. I love that they included footage from Assassin's Creed Embers, uh, the film that is the end of Ezio's life. Enzio. Oh, I hate them so much for doing that. But young, impressionable Chinese girl, never mind the fact that she was an assassin before she fucking met him and went to him to complete her training so that she could get revenge in her world. That young girl being Xiao Jun, um, who we've seen already. If you've um, been following my stream. The Templar bias is so strong in these reports. Ugh. Makes me sick. All right, let's see here. Uh, I probably need to come at you from that angle. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Yes, exactly. There are Templars starting to indoctrinate the public. But it's that whole thing of like... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the same feeling I get now when I listen to church sermons. That's what it reminds me of. Anyway, so here's some information about the OG Animus. Early Animus prototypes. I'm a sneaky man. Yes, I'm a sneaky man. I'm a very, 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 very sneaky man. Ah, la la. Hmm. 
Ah, here we go. Yes, yes, the re we can deal with the religious trauma later. It's fine. Trauma! <laughs> uh, divine Science presentation by Abstergo Industries. That reminds me, uh, a YouTuber that I enjoy has been recently uh, re reacting to Arcane for the first time. And uh, he's very much like he's enjoying the show. Um, he's enjoying it. Um, but he's very much referring to it constantly as trauma the show, trauma the animated series. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And it, it just makes me laugh. Because it's accurate. Another Subject Zero audio file. We're not going to listen to it. Um, just because time. All right, so that's my Animus. Have I been in here? I don't remember if I've been in here or not. I think I have been. Yes, that's all hacked. Right. This camera is overhearing them talking about. Pierre handed in his notice this morning. This new security measure is freaking people out. They won't let him go. It's part of our contract. Having ultra high security clearance means you have to go through a whole debriefing process. It takes months. Really? I had no idea. Read the fine print, man. Working for Abstergo has its benefits, but there's some drawbacks too. Big ones. Yeah, they're talking about Olivier. What's with all these security notices I'm seeing lately? Just the standard message we use on occasion. Nothing to worry about. We've just had some issues around the office lately. Like server security issues? Because these notices seem pretty severe. Like draconian, actually. No, no, it's nothing to worry about, really. Walk with me and I'll explain. And he was never seen again. No, I'm yeah, teasing. As as I, I have no it. idea. Followed it for a while. Couldn't catch it though. It was just that the uh typical abstergo shady shit. You know? <laughs> Walk with me and I'll explain it to you. And he was never seen again. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of thing. But I don't know if he actually was never seen again. Yeah. The talk she's talking about Olivier. We collected more than enough data again. We'll know soon enough, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right. All right, I can send you the results as soon as possible. Okay. Any word on any Well, not uh, not Olivier specifically, but yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Leticia. Bye. We know what happened to Olivier because we took we were the ones who killed him, and well, not killed him. We took him down in uh, Watch Dogs One. All righty. 
All right, we're clear on this floor. We'll go up first. Then. Boopy doo be 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 Speaking of Watch Dogs, this week I will be beginning Watch Dogs 2 on Wednesday. Yay! Alright, so I did hack that. It's 15 and 20. Neither of them are up here. Okay. So I can just go straight to where I need to go. This time that Just stupidity. Fuck me sideways. Fuck me. One, two. Fuck. Oh, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Connection successful. Good old painting of Haytham Kenway, the Templar. Suave, debonair, and clever. It could have been worse. Honestly, the hacking mini games in this game are not that bad. You just kind of have, they're pretty basic. You just kind of have to actually think about them a little bit and try not to overthink them. Nothing there. You have to be patient, not overthink them yet. Apply, you have to apply just the right amount of brain power to them and be again, be patient. Man, that is a massive ass oil painting of Edward. You know what? Since we know Olivier is dead, it would not be uh it would not be too much of a shame for me to just break into this display case and steal 
steal back Altair's sword, which is what that is right there. Or a uh, couple of Ezio's daggers, which are those two right there. Sorry, Enzio. <laughs> Hurts my soul, pieces of shit. Don't even fucking try, goddamn colonizer bullshit. I'm okay, I promise. <laughs> Avatar Ong? Oh god. Ong. Soka. Katera. Yui. That, the same YouTuber I just mentioned about who's watching Arcane, uh, has also been going through Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time in his life. Uh, and, uh, he recently finished season one. Uh, and, um, Something that uh, I had forgotten is that the uh, UA's fiance. We are attempting to synchronize the DDS system. This will only take a moment. We are almost there. The DDS is now in sync. Thank you for your patience. We hope you enjoy your experience. Rudolf II invited many notable figures to his court, making Prague the center of European culture. Among them were Englishman Edward Kelly and his stepdaughter, Elizabeth Jane Weston. Observe her and report any alleged collusion. As I was saying, um, uh, the, uh, UA's fiance, um, has, has a moment where he actually calls Sokka, Soka. In an obvious attempt of I'm making fun of your name thing. And it just, it hit me hard. <laughs> yeah. Aveline. Subject one. February 12, 1981. Qualitative personal interview with Subject 1 on ancestral research regarding Avalon de Grand Prix. How are you God, feeling? You could try! I mean, side effects. Not really. Aside from the headaches. They've been worse since I started staying in longer. But I, I don't want to stop. I like her. I want to know what she does next. What's it like? Reliving her memories. So different. The Animus, I mean. The past. At first, it was confusing, distracting, like New Orleans, the stench. I wasn't expecting all the smells. Smell is the sense most directly linked to memory. When I'm in her memories, it's like I can smell more than I usually can. In general, women have a more acute sense of smell than men do. I had wondered how that would translate. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Sh she's smaller than me. Yeah, probably. But it's like her body could do more. Did that surprise you? That's what she you? said. At first, yeah. The ERA people might hate me for this or whatever, but I don't usually think of girls that way. Climbing things. My mom, my sisters. The animal feeling of Aveline sinking her hidden blade into the throat of... Go on. It doesn't feel... feminine. 
what I think of as feminine. But oh then no! At the same time, it does. Traditional gender Preserve roles. Preserve gravity is way lower. That was a surprise. How easy it is to land. How steady I am on her, her feet. Sorry. This is hard to talk about. No, it's it's fascinating. This is what we need. Pure experience, in your own words. Okay. Can you tell me about Gerald Blunk? Gerald. What about him? Gerald. He and Avalon Gerald. were close, but we haven't been able to ascertain Gerald. if he might be your missing ancestor. He's Do her memory probably suggest not. anything to you? <laughs> I hope he's not. Um, does this make you not. uncomfortable? Remember, these are her memories. You're just playing them back. It's not even acting. You're a researcher. Like you say, I haven't experienced her consummating anything. <laughs> that, that would be... Anyway, I think maybe she was confused. Oh. Well, um, first of all, I don't really know for sure, okay? I mean, guys think about sex more than girls, right? That's a fact. <laughs> No, no, As a researcher, no. what did you observe? No, no, Does it not mean she's really. More like a guy, if she thinks about, is that why she's able to assassinate? Well, okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> I don't know her thoughts, but from what's in her memories, physically, the, the the fidgeting, some hesitation, what she looked at, who she looked away from, the things she didn't say when I expected her to. If I had to guess what it meant, I would think she was thinking about. Sex. But I'm a guy, so I would think that, right? So what does it mean for women to act that way? Uh, it has to mean something else, right? As a subject, <laughs> you're able to observe more finely than I am in review. What about unwanted attention from men? Well, I thought that would be the hardest thing to deal with. I'm not into that, for the record. Not at all. Yes, I know. <laughs> I, I am but straight. I have to make it said. I am straight. So I'm not gay. <laughs> it's like you stop noticing everything she does to avoid it. Crossing the street. Eyes in the back of her head. She knew how to handle herself. When she was charming, felt kind of similar to killing. Or the buildup to killing. I... Can we take a break? Yeah, Just I want to die too. Of course. This is, just, this is bad. <laughs> like, I get it. I get what they're going for, but ouch. We're ready to go on? Yes. Cringe. Avalyn was <laughs> black. And white. On her father's side. You're sensitive to that? I guess. I mean, I'm white. <laughs> Avalyn looks black, so that's different. But y you get used to it. Like, with the girl thing. Until someone makes you not used to it. What do you mean? I don't think I've ever had to think so much about what I'm wearing or how I'm walking. But Aveline, it's like she goes through her whole life in these uniforms. People expect Costumes. her to behave in a certain way. Definitely. Sometimes I worry I'll slip up and play too relaxed at the warehouse and, I don't know, blow her cover. You can't blow her cover. I know, I know. I'm just replaying the memories. I can't change them, I know. But, but I, I see it, right? It's a risk. It's... <laughs> Stressful? Yes. This is quite literally... It's best when she goes out as an assassin. What guys roof, need to do... <laughs> I think she to become more feminists. that way? Can you imagine? <laughs> you're only relaxed when you're going to kill someone. Let's stick to memories rather than imagination. What about the slaves? They're kind of just everywhere. I mean, that, that sounds bad. Slavery is bad, but, but no one's acting like slavery is bad. It's fun when she frees slaves. Is it supposed to be fun? We're not looking for supposed to. Focus on what it is. <sighs> Yeah, there's a reason why I wanted that one to be the one that I actually played all the way through, Yvonne. Glad that's over. I hate it when they escalate the 
security. It makes me jumpy. Did they put anyone in the bunker this time? Just for a few days, I think. Sucks, but I suppose it's necessary. We deal with some really sensitive data. Classified shit, yeah. I don't know how I feel about it, but uh, it's in our contract, so... And they pay out bonuses, too. Inconvenience pay, they call it. Really? That's actually kind of nice. Yeah. I got some inconvenience pay. I love how everybody is whispering about these things. Like they know Absurgo is listening. <laughs> I mean So the question, Yvonne, is do you think that they did a decent job of depicting what they were trying to go for? The whole... In the conversation. <clears throat> the conversation being... It's a guy who was being put into... It was a white male. A white straight male being put into the shoes of a... Black presenting female. Black, black, black presenting woman in America and then him trying to describe what it was like do you think that they did a good job a decent job not necessarily a good job but a decent job with what they were trying for There we go, that's what I was trying for. 
honestly, from what I could tell when I have convos with set white men who have to consider things outside their comfort zone. Fair. That's fair. Conversation between Melanie and Olivier. Talking about the observatory. All right. If I go left, then up, I'd have to go left or right. If I went left, that would take me to here, and then back to that, then down to the, uh, there. There. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so I want that. If you think about what you're doing, they're not that hard. So, this will be a short one, Dad. Uh, from Des a voicemail from, voice so. uh, from Desmond to his dad. If I don't make it out of the temple today. I've tried to be optimistic about all this, but I, uh, I just can't. I think spending all this time at Connor's memories has made me anxious. I mean, his story is so painful. In so many ways. Still, he never lost hope. Even when his faith and others eroded. I can only believe that what we're doing <laughs> is the right thing. That I can stop this disaster. I know this. I mean, the technology is there, waiting for us to use it. I'm the final piece of the puzzle. It's something in my genes or my memories. Some final piece of code to switch the whole thing on. That's why I'm here. That's why they brought me here. Only, uh... I, d I don't know what I'll have to give up in return. My sanity. My life. It's, it's impossible to say. I do know this. Our battle with the Templars will not be over. Whatever's inside that temple is not an ending. It's just another chapter in this, this endless story. And it'll be your job. And Mom's, and, and Sean's, and Rebecca's. To keep turning the pages. You know, I, I keep thinking about something Orson Welles once said. <coughs> something like, if you, if you want a happy ending, it all depends on where you stop telling your story. So maybe, maybe that's the answer. Maybe that's how people keep marching forward. If something goes wrong in their dead, something happens to me. When you tell my story years from now, please tell them the one about how I lost my way. And then I found it again. Just in time to save the world. And, and just... End it there. That'll keep everyone smiling. Goodbye, Dad. Say hello to Mom. Tell her I love her, okay? Tell her I uh, love you both. I loved Desmond so much. He had such a weight on his shoulders. Oh, there's a sticky note in here. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people love Desmond, but also a lot of people hated him. 
um, because they hated the modern day aspects of the games. Idiots. It is super hard to let go of a character like that. And it is unfortunate that he didn't get the story that he had been, had been initially planned out for him. Um, by the original game runner, game creator. But, personally... But personally, that doesn't mean, you know, personally, I, I like how things turned out, though I, I have hopes for how things go in the future. Back in time aspects are more action and fun. This is more investigation and intrigue. Exactly. All right, so 1372, 6, 8, 10, or 32, 48, 62, uh, oh, close. Uh, let's do that. Nope. Hmm. This is the last hack. Oh. Would have been cool if I'd been able to get it in, in one. Damn it. Hesitation. Nope. Oh. Down here. That and that. That there we go. All right. Oh nope. Hesitated again. There we go. And that's the last Subject Zero audio file. All right. Oh, nope, we have two more hack uh, computers to hack. That's right, that's right. We still have one more floor to do. I totally forgot. This is fine. Basically, each of the sticky notes turns out to be the, uh, uh, what are they called? A manifesto for the uh for the cult of Juno which is which was started by the sage um and are trying to free Juno from the internet which is uh where she is currently imprisoned after being freed from the uh, temple by Desmond when he saved the planet from the solar flare. Um, and uh, Sage is trying to get her a corporeal form so that she can quote unquote rule the world. Everybody wants to rule the world. And that's what the whole point of you know, this game, this game was, he thought that 
this character, the noob, would be, uh, would be, uh, a compatible host, but he was not compatible for her. Alrighty. If I go up then left, that takes me to here. Down is dead end, so up. Oh. And that way. That way. Okay. So up, left, up. There we go. Agent evaluation report for Juhani Otso Berg. Um, who is it? This is our first time seeing his name. Uh, he becomes an antagonist for the next few games, actually. Um, he's an essential, he's essentially an assassin hunter. Um, and he's really good at what he does. Like, really good at it. In fact, he's the reason why in the, uh, fiction of the of these games the assassins are not very uh why they're losing essentially why they're losing the war because he's been going around and destroying the cells he and his team another subject zero file all right now that was our last hack. All right. These are all little figurines and statues that I collect that you collect through the game for accomplishing stuff and all of that. Like that one right there in the center of the screen. So that's Torres. It's for killing Torres. This one is for unlocking the Mayan armor. Um, there's Mary Reed, aka James Kidd, uh, so on and so forth. And Bonnie, Blackbeard, etc. All right, get the finale started. Great Inagua, October 1722. 
Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. Do you have my word? <laughs> Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. But my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cold! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father, too. Of all the money that ever I have, I spent it in good company. And all the harm that ever I've done. And there they all are. Alas, it was through none but me. All dead. And all I've done for want of a wit to memory now I can. I don't care if I get a copyright strike for this. I'm this song is necessary. And he takes his daughter for a sail. Father, did you always know how to sail a boat? The jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. <laughs> after you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye that day. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing the boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's 
A ship, he but says. Not me. Mud said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year, and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I might have come home. I hope that I would have. I hope that I would have, he says. Was, but that wouldn't have mattered. Can I see your boat? Boat? I, I no see boat no boat. <laughs> oh, I mean, shit, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then? Everything is a ship, large and small, but for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> well, that's a clever way of seeing it. Jennifer Kenway. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Only a little one, I hope. Can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Ooh. And what about pirates? Will what I about pirates? pirates? Will I see pirates? No, no says the pirate. <laughs> There's a whale. <laughs> they return to England. Her father continues as an assassin, and she eventually joins the order, uh, the the Brotherhood. Yes, he had another kid, Haytham. <clears throat> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I Oof. Uh, my daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Yes, being a shit runs in the family. Um, but yes, so, uh, to my recollection of the lore, Edward returns to England, where he, uh, continues as an assassin. He gets this beautiful house, um, that he fills with all kinds of assassin stuff. <laughs> and, um, he raises Jennifer and later Haytham. Um, Jennifer doesn't ex <coughs> To my recollection, she doesn't specifically join the Order uh, of the, the Brotherhood of the Assassins. However, she is sympathetic to their cause. 
and at some point she does end up engaged to a Templar and I don't and he ends up dead I think I don't remember for sure I'm a little hazy on the on the lore post the game but after this game before uh before three um and yes of course he's Haytham's dad because Haytham Kenway Connor is Edward's grandson. There's only one generation, well, one generation in there. In between them. Um. And, uh, but yeah. In Assassin's Creed Syndicate, we will be able to explore the Kenway estate. Um. The, uh. Uh, we will be we'll, we will be exploring that and learning a little bit about what happens to them after. Um, and we'll also be learning a little bit more about Haytham and what ha what his uh, what the Templar and stuff like that. Haytham and the Templars and things like that. Uh, we'll also see what happens to uh, what uh, becomes of Ade, uh, Ade Wale, after Freedom Cry. Um, and, uh, and that's all in Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, which is the next main game we're playing. Um... So my plan moving forward is we'll do, uh, we'll start the DLC. Actually, we might even just complete the DLC tonight. Um, we have an Aveline de Grand Prix DLC. I'm gonna try to get it all tonight, but I don't know how. Uh, we'll, we'll see how long that takes. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, after that, I'll do Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, and then after Rogue, but before. Syndicate. No. After Rogue is Unity. It's four, then Rogue, then Unity, then Syndicate. Yes, a bittersweet ending. I always tear up at that sp at that scene. Um that song. I love that song so much. Parting Glass. Um and that scene, especially the spot where he looks back and he sees them, all his friends who are now dead, usually because of his, because of fallout from his choices. It just, it gets me every time. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the uh, Aveline DLC here in a second. Um, we're gonna hit the uh, uh, Aveline. Oh, there's an ad. Eh. Uh, we're gonna hit the Aveline DLC here in a second, uh, and then we are. Um, I finished the game. Yay. And there it all is 100% across the board. Now, if I hadn't completed all the, like the, the random stuff, I could go out. I could go on board with Anne as my quartermaster and run around the world doing stuff but no nah. anyway as i was saying um we're gonna hit the dlc tonight and then we're going to and then uh after that i'm gonna do assassin's creed rogue then after rogue uh will be unity and then with um and then after unity i'll do assassin's creed Chronicles India. 
which is the second of the Chronicles series. And then we'll hit Syndicate, and then after Syndicate, we'll hit Chronicles Russia, which is the third of the of the, of the series. That's the plan. Um, and we'll get to it. All right, we've already done Freedom Cry, right? We've already done Freedom Cry. I did that for Black History Month a few, oh God, a couple years ago now. Um, <clears throat> welcome back, Yvonne. <sighs> I was just telling people what my, uh, I was just talking about my uh, stream plan for Assassin's Creed going forward. And we've done Freedom Cry for Black History Month a bit ago. Chronicles Narnia. Chronicles Narnia! <laughs> Not Chronicles of Russia? You were gonna skip Chronicles of Russia and go straight to Chronicles Narnia. Um, all in one night? No, that's gonna be uh, over the next however long. Um, but yeah, we already did Freedom Cry. That was a while ago. Russia is basically Narnia? No. No. Always winter, never Christmas. <laughs> Careful, you're gonna end up with Putin in your sock drawer. Aveline, do you still call yourself assassin? Whatever name you take, you came to me for help once, and now I must ask the same of you. There is a girl of uncanny strength and wit. Patience gives. She is accused of leading a slave revolt, and her master has placed a high price on her capture. She is a hunted girl. I have attempted to recruit patience for the Brotherhood, but she will not allow me to approach her with help. Your name is legendary among the slaves. Even, Even as far, as far north, north as Newport, Newport. I, believe I believe you will have, have more success. success. She, was she was last seen on Goat Island. Island. Start, Start your, your search, search there, there, if you accept. Your, your friend, friend and brother, Connor, Connor. postscript. Post Take, Take care, care to heed the fort and patience, patience herself. herself. I have I learned, learned the hard way. way. He, he is, is dangerous, dangerous when starving. God, it's good to see Avelina again. Up, uh, there you go. I'm kind of upset they didn't give her the whip that she got at the end of the game of the uh of Assassin's Creed Liberation. What's happened here? We all escaped together. <coughs> she said a ship would come. But they found us. Who helped you? Patience Gibbs. Our camp was just beyond that hill, but they ransacked it and took us prisoner. They must be holding her there. All right, let's check some stuff here. What's the progress tracker look like? Okay, so we have three memories here. We'll see how easy or hard it is to... <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'll accept that. I mean, she already had the whip in the game, but... Yeah, fine. Fine. Hee <laughs> hee 
Ah, yeah, sure, I'll loot your ammo. Oh, don't kill them. I love that they did manage to uh, maintain her. Um, like, they didn't just maintain her. Uh, they didn't just re take Edward and reskin him uh, for this DLC. It would have been hilarious, though. I mean, um, they didn't just take Edward and reskin him for this DLC. They actually have her moving how she and fighting and climbing how she did in Liberation, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, they do the same thing with each of the assassins. They each have their own fighting style and all of that. Why do you want to? I'm trying to help. Just tell me what the you only know. one that doesn't is Desmond, and that's because he uh, I hope learned his stuff us. from Ezio Altier and Connor. How about you fall off the roof, my dude? <coughs> hey, look, you fell off the roof. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Hey, fellas. And Who lady. Who are you? I'm trying to help patient Gibbs. There was a captain giving orders. He's still here searching for something. He knows where they are taking her. He sent them. He has many bodyguards. You will not get to him without crossing them. Eh, I'm not worried about Thank them. Thank you. Hey guys, bye guys.
Thank you. Have you seen Patience Gibbs? Find the others. She must be with them. All right. Up, up, through the fence. <laughs> God, I love her. You, where is Patience Gibbs? What is going on here? State your business. Oh, he's shaking. Oh, the poor white man is shaking. Scared of a small black woman. Hello, let me grab him. Hi. Where is she? One punch. Forget right. one punch, man. We've got one punch, Aveline. will take the wedge to Fort Washington for questioning. Thank you. Right? The whip would have been hella useful. But yeah, all she did was clock him across the jaw and he was down. One punch man who? Jail her. Discipline her as you must. But remember, I'm paying you to keep her alive. I must have that charm. I will kill you first! I will avenge my mother! It will never be yours! Release me! I will have your hides for carpets! I'll have your hides for carpets. God, I love patience, Gibbs. Uh, give me one second. Boom, 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 boom. Do I have any bonus missions? Probably not. Oh, hi. All right. Ah, uh, this looks like a good way in. Lara Croft, too.
He saw nothing. Rear rafters. All righty then. Crunch. Oh, the tail end of someone disappear around that corner over there. Climb that, so get fucked. Nope. No alarm for you. Alright, come on. Y'all saw nothing. Just carry on your business. Who 
by you. Let's get you out of here. Follow me. Hell, I will. I do not trust what I cannot see. Now! Off the wall, Aveline. Through the door. There you go. To the prison! Help! Help! Prisoner on the loose! Stop her! Gotcha! Stop her! <laughs> there were like 16 people who are all about to say the word interloper at the exact same time. Hold her there. There's only one place left it could be. I'll get it out of her. Will you hand over the charm, sweet thing, or is it a physical exam you crave? I assure you, I brought physical exam. My instrument. Uncomfortable. <clears throat> Bye. Thank you. Lillian, I was you were not that far behind them, my dude. Do as you will with her. I'm sure you've had quite enough. Don't you dare run from me again. Tell me your name. Aveline de Grand Pré. From New Orleans? So you are real after all. I love that the flowers what just pop in. Want if it is not my charm. Only you. Charmless. Is this a game of flats you fancy then? A friend sent me. Connor. He will offer you safety and training. Mademoiselle, get my charm back, and you can take me as your game pullets. Then let's go. I kind of ship it. <laughs> Do you know where Judge is taking your charm? My best bet is the Newport Tower. This tunnel will lead us there. He does his real work underground. The good doctor. On the surface, he parades around like a saint. But I know his true nature. The charm he took belonged to my mother. It gave her strength and foresight, as it did her mother before her. As it did me. Without it, I am blind. You will have it back soon. I will make sure of it. I'll scout ahead. Earl, catch the fuck up. Had to desync because she got glitched. He does his real work underground. The good doctor. On the surface, he parades around like a saint, but I know his true nature. The charm he took belonged to my mother. It gave her strength and foresight, as it did her mother before her, as it did me. Without it, I am blind. You will have it back soon. I will make sure of it. 
Give me a second. My phone crashed. Okay. <clears throat> nope. That. A Aveline. 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 There you go. <laughs> I'll scout ahead. Yeah, part of it is because I keep stepping into things that are not supposed to be... Yeah, I got too far ahead of her, so she glitched on the, uh, on the terrain trying to catch up. And, uh, then I missed where I was supposed to be for, uh, it, and caused it to land awkwardly. Patience is not very patient. Steady does it. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> they both apologize to each other. I ship it. Wait. <laughs> Look, I'll handle this. Stay back. I mean, you right. <laughs> Yeah, probably. This would never have happened if I still had the wish. Never mind. I will be more careful next time. Oop. Almost missed that entirely. Interesting, she's got hidden blades on her wrist. And she's not part of the assassin order yet. I wonder if she took them from Connor. When he tried to recruit her. Up 
how do we open the gates? Very good question. Um. Oh, maybe the place they've marked on the screen with the with the waypoint. Yeah, she's got two hidden blades. She must have stolen them from somebody. This is some national treasure type architecture. Uh, let's see here. There's the path. Probably right in front of me. Ah, that's probably where I was supposed to go. Ooh, good catch, Aveline. My life for a dirty piece of savagery. What's that? You did not think I'd give up all my secrets so easily. I'm learning not to. But how does it work? It lets me see. Into minds? No. Into all things. Only for a few seconds anyway. Long enough to escape. Patience, will you accompany me to Connor's homestead? I would be honored. Excellent. <laughs> and that is that. I, you kind of ship it too. Yeah, there's only one person that I ship Aveline with more, and that's the, uh, the, uh, oh god, I forget her name. But yeah, most of my ships with Aveline are femme, uh, but also Connor, kinda, kinda. Um, but yeah. That's it for Assassin's Creed 4. Uh, next week, we'll be diving into Assassin's Creed Rogue, which I am excited for. Um, 
I hope you all have been enjoying this as much as I have been. And yeah. Check out these amazing people I have listed up here, which includes Yvonne B, who's been in the chat with me all day. Um, I have even more recommendations in my link tree below. In fact, if you go to the link tree, which is right here, link tree slash Crimson Knight, you'll find links to my socials, my Discord, my uh, at, at, at Discord. I said that. I just said that, didn't I? My socials, my Discord, my uh, YouTube, where you can watch all of my VODs of my past streams. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment and share me around a little bit. Um, help me out with that algorithm. Um, oh, and But if you want to watch me live, you can also check that link tree for a link to my Twitch channel, where you can join me live on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um most of the time uh check my socials and my discord for more information about that um but uh yeah also in my disc in my link tree you will find a link to my patreon.com slash crimson knight that is patreon.com slash k-r-i-m-z-o-n-k-n-i-g-h-t check those out support me as you can as you're willing to as you wish if not that's okay no judgment from me it is not a necessity none of my content is locked behind a paywall um i love you all i hope you all have been have have a great week ahead of you um i hope you all stay comfortable and all that type of stuff um do I have any announcements for the week? Not that I can think of. Tomorrow we're starting a, a two, we're starting a brand new game tomorrow with Tomb Raider Anniversary. Wednesday we're starting a, a brand new game in the in uh, Watch Dogs Two. Uh, Thursday we'll be continuing the uh, uh, second Shadow of not Thursday, sorry Friday. Friday we'll be continuing the second DLC of the Shad of Shadow of War, uh, which is the one where we follow Byronor around. Um, and then next Monday, assuming all, all things continue and stay steady, we will be, we will be beginning Assassin's Creed Rogue. <sighs> Remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I'll see you all tomorrow. I love you all. Peace out.